Welcome to my course on PLC programming. In this series of tutorials, I'll be covering the basics of PLCs, the programming, hardware, its troubleshooting, and various concepts related to the programmable logic controller. And gradually, I will take you through the very various intermediate and advanced concepts. So there are a couple of things that uh, first let me give you an overview. The software that I'm going to use is the Step7 software. Well, Step7 software has various tools related to programming PLCs. The Semantic Manager is the environment which utilizes the various resources of Step7 that is to program PLC, to have the hardware configuration of the PLC and to have the network configuration of the PLCs. So all these resources of Step7 are utilized by the semantic manager so we will have an introduction to semantic manager we will be using the step 7 well the plc hardware how to wire the plc hardware and how to configure the hardware of the plc in our semantic manager software the plc that i will be using will be simmons s7 plc right it is simmons s7 family plc and uh, the concept is pretty similar to any other plc so in this case i will be having the s7 300 well to put the plc into run mode and to observe its behavior its processing i'll be using a plc simulator the various data types of the plc from bit to integers and then to real and then to various advanced data types like date and time we will be covering that into this course the various basics uh, of the plc such as scan time the various blocks organization block function block function call interrupts well i'll be covering that and then we will dive into the actual plc programming right from the very basics such as bit logic operations some mathematical operations some conversion on the data and some you know the various necessary concepts and uh, as we go to the course we will troubleshoot and diagnose various faults that has been faced by plcs so how to troubleshoot that for example if you are in in a project are you have are you facing some problems related to plcs various faults if you are encountering that well you have to diagnose these faults and then you have to put the plc back into run mode in order to get the process running and definitely we will have some projects some example projects so that you can better understand the functionality of a plc well this course is for anyone is for anyone who can uh, who has the passion for automation who has the passion for electronics well despite the background you're having you can learn the plc programming it's pretty pretty interesting and pretty easy it's not a big deal so at the end of the course you will be able to program plcs diagnose various faults related to plcs troubleshoot it and make some real world projects that will make you feel good about the real world projects that you are going to perform with the plc programming so that was the overview of my course and uh, see you in the next video